Hello everyone and welcome to Akron Buzz. I'm your host Sean Martin and joining us today is Phil Prosser and he is part of the Welty and Sky Park. And Phil, thanks for joining us and being on the show today. My pleasure. Now, tell us a little bit about Welty and Sky Park and, and where they're located and, and what they have to do with Akron. Well, Welty and Sky Park is a Part 61 flight training school. And there's a difference, there's a, one, one other kind of uh, flight training school, but we are a Part 61. Uh, so we are to the west of Akron, say about 10 miles or so, um, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're on uh, 3071 Greenwich Road, uh, which is just off of 224 Route 76. Okay, yeah. When it's together. So w Weltian Sky Park was established in 1965 by our founder, Dan Weltian. And he built, he bought a plot of land, as I understand it, and he built a runway on it, and people, you know, moved in around the area so that they could fly out of there. It's kind of like a, they call it a condo association, but it's just a bunch of people that live around it and, you know, have access to the airport. But right. we also are a flight school, a part, as I said, Part 61 flight school, and that's really our main mission uh, these days, and aircraft rental for uh, our members. So a, a member can rent an aircraft if they, he or she so desires. So that's pretty awesome. How did you get involved with the Sky Park and, and the program and, and you know, becoming a pilot? Sure. Well, I'm also a professional photographer, and uh, it occurred to me that I wanted to start doing drone work. And as we all know, that to, you must be uh, have a license to do anything commercial with the drone. So back in those days, I was under the, the Section 333 program, and at that time, you needed to have some kind of pilot's license, whether it be a sport pilot or a recreational pilot or a private pilot, to obtain your uh, permission from the FAA to fly uh, drones commercially. And that I did. Right. And um, eventually, I got my, my real private pilot license, and then I got my Part 107 to fly drones. So I have both those certifications, Part 107 and a private pilot license. Now tell me about the, the process of becoming a, a private pilot. Um, you know, are you flying out there on your own? Are you flying with instructors? Sure. Yeah, well, it's a great question. Thank you. Uh, basically, you, you just find a flight school that you like and is close and, you know, you, it's important to vet your flight school uh, because you're tied to them. You're married to them for a couple of years, maybe, and you develop a relationship with them. So even though I come from all the way from Chardon, Ohio, I still use uh, go to Wellesley and Sky Park. In fact, I'm their marketing director now. So tell us a little bit about uh, the training process and, and what it takes to become a pilot. Sure. Uh, Wellesley and Sky Park also has a ground school. So uh, a, a pilot-to-be will begin taking ground school lessons, and those are the basics of flying. And the first day, it's the four forces, you know, lift, drag, you know, stuff like that. Right. And then you gradually, you know, learn more and more and more throughout a period of about 12 weeks. And during that time, also, you find an instructor that you kind of groove with, and they take you up, and you fly, and you're, they put you left seat right away, so you're, the, you're not pilot in command, but you are flying left seat, and the instructor is flying right seat right next to you right. with you know, daddy's hands are right there, so there's no, no need to fear. Right. You, know, you, you do not give an immediate responsibility you know, you're but, just but really you, getting the feel of the plane and how, and how it handles exactly. and stuff like and that's that. That's well well put because that's exactly what you must develop. Right, is the feel of the plane and the muscle memory involved with rudder pedals and the and the yoke we call it the yoke. Okay, and power and you know uh, you know th this amount of power will make the airplane do this and this amount of trim will make the airplane do that, and so it's very important to learn all of those things and develop this you know uh, muscle memory that it extends to all of your limbs and your senses and your eyes. Right. Now, before we went on the air, you mentioned a little bit about your first solo flight. Tell us a little bit about that. My first solo flight. Well, it took me a long time to learn how to land. And everybody <laughs> at Sky Park knew of Prosser. And when is he going to solo? Well, finally, uh, my instructor gave me the, what we call the pre-solo exam, which is a little written exam. And I took it. And um, then he took me down to Wayne County uh, just to the southwest of Sky Park, and 
you know, we did some circuits around and you know, land and land and land and, and then he said, okay, Prosser, I want you to pull over to that, that uh, taxiway over there. I want to check the plane for something. And then he got out of the airplane and he said, okay, Prosser, I want you to go up there and give me three landings. I want you to circle the path three times and give me three landings. And I just begged him, get back in this aircraft. I, <laughs> get back, get, get back in here. I'm not ready. And he said, no, Prosser, you are. Go up. And I thought, well, I guess I will. You know, right. is what, you know, so he essentially pushed you out of the he, nest and you he, had to learn to fly. He did. He did. And that's exactly what I needed. Right. So, um, and then I, I, I went up and it was just like a new prosser. It was a new me. Yeah. And, the, you know, when I, when I came down, I was just almost in tears. And I said, John, I did it. And he said, I, I knew you could. And then we went back to Sky Park. And, you know, so that was the f first solo day. That's pretty great. That's, yeah. that's a great story. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. the experience of, of that is... Changed is my life. Yeah, something else. Yep. So you brought this shirt in there. I did. Tell me a little bit about this shirt. Well, <clears throat> uh, this shirt is, was um, designed by one of our pilots' son. Okay. And he designed it. And it's, the, uh, it's supposed to look like one of our instructors. And it does. Um, and it's... I don't know if you can read it. It says, well, see, it's Sky Park, and on the back, it says, let's fly. Okay. So I think that's really cool. And we, we sell the shirt. Right. Uh, I think it's 10 bucks or something like that. Yeah. But it, I'd like to see all of our students get this, you know, and I'm working on that process. So, all yeah, right. that, that's, uh, that's the shirt. Now, one of the main reasons I brought you in here today is, is you guys have a big event coming up uh, on June 30th. Uh, tell us a little bit about this Indeed. event. Our big event, our biggest event of the year, we have others, but okay. uh, the biggest event of the year is uh, our summer celebration. And it is basically an open house where we invite the public. We're a public airport, so anybody can come. Mm -hmm. But we invite the public to come in, and uh, we have, uh, it's like a, kind of like a mini air show. You know, okay. like we'll have various displays, and maybe we have some um, aero flyers. I think I have that right. Or, yeah. They're, they're jumping in with their you know square parachutes and, right and we may have a uh, we hope we have a an appearance by life flight we may have some military helicopters uh, come in mm -hmm. and um, we have a great food truck coming in called the big green thing uh, it's an old friend of mine from Youngstown she's coming in with her her gourmet food okay and we have ice cream and you know all kinds of good family fun it sounds for the, for the entire like a day. great event. It is. And it it's is. right here in Wadsworth, right outside of Akron. Yes, sir. I mean, pretty easy to get to. Yeah, easy. How easy. can people find out some more information about this event? Well, we can go to uh, www.flyskypark.com. Okay. Flyskypark.com. We also have a Facebook page called Weltsian Sky Park. It's, it's two words, you know, okay. to spell it out. Yeah. Weltsian Sky Park. And that's our main uh, public facing. Uh, Facebook page. So we okay. have those, those two. Uh, um, and you'll be able to find all the events on these both these pages. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. In fact, people say I post this stuff too much. Just <laughs> I, don't, I, think, I don't think you can post enough, right? right. I mean, that's yeah. what it's there for. Right. Got to get those people in. Right. Well, Phil, thanks a lot for coming into the studio here in Akron Buzz. If you want to be a guest, please contact us, Akron at AkronBuzz.com, and we'll catch you on the next one.